All right, what is up, guys? It is Mr. Awesome here, and it's been a long time since I've recorded something. But today, I'm just going to be uh, getting back into it, you know? I have some free time. Um, I'm in college right now, so, like, yeah, it's been pretty busy. But, um, you know, I'm surviving, and uh, since I have some free time now, I just decided, you know, why not um, start a new world in uh, Tech It and get some get some, you know, free time going on. That's the plan for today. Um, I'm just going to be chilling, and um, maybe this might become a regular thing, maybe not. We'll have to see where it goes, but for now, I'm just doing this for fun, mostly, and uh, seeing where it goes. So, um, so this is my world. Um, you may notice that, like, I made quite the progress on it. I've been playing this for about, like, five days now, I think, and I've got a decent amount of stuff going on. Not too much, though, so I can still, um, you know, make this a series or, like, a video, a few videos, um, and it'll still be possible, but, like, yeah. You'll notice that <clears throat> I have, like, this is my main base here, that's my quarry, and this is this huge building over here, and that's going to be the bulk of what our series is going to revolve around. So this is the Mega Factory, is what I'm calling it, and it's completely empty right now. But um, my goal for the end of the series is to populate this with a bunch of projects, um, anything that comes to mind really that has to do with um, the mod pack that I'm playing, which is Tekkit Legends, I will put in here. And I'll be, obviously we'll need more space, I'll keep expanding it, but this is what I have for now. What I'm trying to do right now is actually just to start setting up the Mega Factory. And that's going to be this episode, it's going to be kind of like an introductory kind of thing, and then we'll see where it goes from here. So let me just dump all this into my uh, transmutation tablet. And if you guys don't know much about TechIt, then that's okay. Um, you can learn through this series, right? So uh, so just to be clear, this is TechIt Legends. Um, I'm using the Technic Launcher Pack, which has multiple mod packs in it, uh, which means it's modded Minecraft. It's not vanilla. And this one happens to be TechIt Legends. I think I just accidentally clicked on it instead of TechIt Classic. If you guys want an easier place to start, I would suggest TechIt Classic. This is basically the same thing, but um, there's some more additions to it, so it's a little bit different. But um, yeah, I wouldn't worry too much because they're mostly similar, so it doesn't really make a difference. So what I'm going to try to do this episode is um, set up, so I have these here, um, and I'm going to set up two MFSUs here. And if you guys aren't aware of what those are, they're basically like, um, they're storage for electricity, which in this game is measured by EU, so electrical units. Um, so these are solar panels, and they generate electricity, which feeds into this MFE, which feeds into, and, and an F, MFE is a storage unit, and, and it feeds into this one, and there are two, and they both store electricity. And so, yeah, so I'm just going to try to make an FSU, which is like an upgraded version of that. And um, let's see. I'm not going to spend too much time ex explaining most of this. Um, yeah, you guys can figure this out for yourselves. Or if I do more episodes on this stuff later, then I'll explain more about it. But yeah, I have a lot of strange looking thing things if you're not used to this uh, mod pack. All right, so let's get started. So what I'm trying to build is this right here, the MFSU, um, which needs six Lapatron crystals, one MFE, one advanced machine block, and one advanced circuit. So, lucky me, I have most of these things prepared already. So I'm just gonna grab, let's see, how many of these do we need? We need, we need four. So I'm building an MFE by scratch because I'm, I'm gonna leave those two to put down on the ground. So the plan is I'm gonna put MFEs um, maybe like every few blocks or so, or maybe just one in the middle here. Um, and they're, or actually, oh God, this is so asymmetrical, but like one here, I guess, yeah. And it's going to be fed by these two MFSUs here. And then they're going to be, and then this is going to, um, actually, I'll put it up here, probably somewhere here, feed power to the rest of the machines that are in the area. So that is the, that is the goal. Um, and that's definitely going to be a lot of, that's going to require a lot of work. So we're going to have a while to do this. So, yeah. On second thought, I might actually suspend it from the ceiling. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. The point is, I'm just going to build them now, the MFSUs, and then we'll go from there. All right. So I need four of these. 
Um, I need more rubber. Okay, I'm just gonna put that there and just grab two, three, there we go. All right, and we're gonna put these in the four corners like that and we're gonna need energy crystals. We're gonna need, oh God, a lot of diamonds. So I'm just gonna grab a bunch. Um, I'm gonna put four, so I'm gonna grab four actually. One, two, three, four. And now I'm gonna put these, let's see, how do I make this? Four with machine block. Okay, so one like that. And those two there, and then all these around. There's our first MFE. All right, cool. And we're gonna need two of those. So we're gonna repeat that recipe again. As you guys can tell, <clears throat> Um, this project isn't really meant for people who are just starting off the game because you need a lot of resources for it. So, um, so that's why I'm, I'm doing this mainly to just provide tutorials for people who are looking for them. So about specific things. So just be warned that like, this is not like, or most of this isn't going to be beginner stuff. It's going to be more like intermediate to advanced, um, depending on your progress in the game. And I'm using a project table right now, if you guys aren't aware of what that is. Basically, it's like a crafting table, but you don't lose it when you, so you can put something in here and then exit out and it still be held there. And also you can, you have like a little chest inventory here where you can, uh, stack or store your resources and then use those as you craft things. So as you can see, I've run out of redstone here and this means that I won't be able to make more diamonds. So I'm just going to exit out of that, grab a stack of redstone. And come back in and it's still going to be there. I'm going to throw the redstone in the storage and then just keep clicking away. All right. Yeah, we're just going to make them. So we're going to put one or we need two actually. So I'm going to grab another one from there. So we're going to put two in there, two MFEs, two advanced machine blocks. And then I'm going to put these in here like that. And this has to be manual, which really sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm just going to clear out this top part and put these in. All right, there we go. Now we should have two. Perfect. All right, put these back in. All right, so now that I have, we have two MFS used, I'm going to put these over here. And the way these um, things work is they have, um, they have six sides, right? Six faces. And this one with the little orange dot is the output face, which means it is the side where the energy leaves and the others are where the energy enters. So I'm thinking, hmm. okay, so after a bit of pondering, I decided to go with them both in these holes. Um, so they wouldn't be really, uh, how do I say this? Uh, they wouldn't really be inside the building. So it wouldn't be like, we wouldn't be accessing them, which is kind of sad because these are super like bulky, you know what I mean? So they have a lot of storage, but, um, yeah, so it's not going to be you like it's not going to be meant for player interaction. So we're going to put them both facing down like this. So these are their output holes. All right. So these are all their inputs. So we're going to have cables going into them on the top. Oops, like that. And through the bottom is where we're going to have them output. So they're both going to output. Hopefully that won't be an issue. I really hope not. All right. So. From there, we're going to expand these outwards, and they're going to go towards other MFEs in the area. So what I'm thinking is we can put three MFEs per area. So there should be, let's see, um, let me count these real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is have this go like this, and then it's going to go, um, let's make it go down here like that. And then we're going to have an MFE here and we're going to have it stored like a kind of like, I like this idea that I had over here of like having these hang down kind of things. So like all these, like, you know, see these hung down. All right. Yeah. So like I was saying, so like all these hang down. So, um, so basically I'm going to try to put that into, uh, put that design into the factory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these, let's see. We're going to need something gray, gray or metallic. Okay. All right, so let's keep with the theme. Since I have gray here too, let's just keep doing that. So I'm going to use these gray. Yep. 
So using these strips and the, oops, the covers, we're going to make the little suspensions. So I'm going to make like, all right, so here's the plan. So the MFE is going to sit here, right? So let's put a block there for it. Let's make it like, oops, like that. All right, guys, what's up? So I'm back and I just had a massive brain like shutdown. So, um, so I don't know why I was placing it there at the beginning in the middle when I should have placed it over here. And so, <clears throat> yeah, now I'm trying to figure this out. So I'm, and also this is going to be kind of stupid because I was thinking about making it one block just to hold it, but then you'd have to put it on the glass. Like you'd have to put, put um, it on the glass regardless. And so it's going to be kind of unrealistic. What I mean is like these little thingies are going to be suspended from glass, which like in real life would never happen because then the glass would break. But we're going to have a little bit of suspension of disbelief here and just pretend like it's not glass and it's all going to be fine. So the reason why I realized that this should go on the, this side instead of the middle is so that we can have room to build here, right? And in the middle, we have one on the ground that we can put stuff in. So in case we need to charge something, we can put it in. Um, and that would make a lot more sense, right? Because we don't want we don't want these ones to be on the ground because they would get in the way of whatever we're building. And we don't want the middle one to be high up because then we can't reach it and then we can't put anything inside, it, right? So this makes a lot more sense. So there we go. And I'm going to put my little corners there. There. Perfect. All right. So now that we got that done, we're going to place down our MFE there, and then we'll do all four cor all four corners, yeah, and then the two middle ones. And then that'll be it for today. So let's just do that now. So what I'm going to do here is lay out the wiring for it. So I'm going to put it down like that, and this is where the MFE is going to be. It's going to feed into the top, and the output's going to face probably inwards, like this way. And all the cables are going to be coming out of that there. And um, or actually, I might have to put it down. No, 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 no. It's going to face that way. Yeah. So if I need to go outwards, then it can come over the edge and come, out, and then come out. And I think that would be a lot cleaner than having it go out this way and then spilling out everywhere onto the floor. You know what I mean? Like like in real life, basically. So we're just going to try to echo that design all across. All right. <clears throat> so I finished all these now and we have it all wired up properly and built and this is what it looks like and it looks pretty ugly right now um i think i'm gonna move that back and then um but once we uh once i finalize this design i can put in covers so like like here i don't know if you guys notice this but like i put in some covers here to cover up the inner workings of this of this uh screen here this board and basically um all you can do is turn it off so there's off, and then we turn it back on. So just switch these, and then ta-da, it works. So I think I'm going to cover the wires at least, like the ones that are sprawling all over the place. And then we'll see about the actual, maybe I'll leave it out because this looks cool. Actually, yeah, I think I'll just leave it out. And now I'm going to work on building or moving the MFEs over there. So basically, all right, so I'm going to, so right now the MFEs are fully charged, though. That's the problem. And I really feel bad about doing that. So here are my solar panels here. I'm going to move these over there. And what I'm actually going to do, actually, I'm probably going to make these into LV solar arrays. So right now, the way this works is we have four tiers, I guess you could say. So this first tier is the one that I have. It's the basic solar panels. So I'm not that far into the game yet. And the next one is called LVs or low voltage solar panels, which look like these. And these are a lot more powerful and they save up space. So rather than filling this entire roof with these solar panels, I can fill the roof with um, actual um, like solar panels. So rather than these ones, I'll work my way up to those and then eventually these and then that one. So it's going to be a process, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. So what I'm thinking of doing is filling probably like one, two, three, three by eight and then two by eight. This place I'll probably leave empty, and I need to clear off this thing before I do it. But that's how many of these high voltage solar panels I want. So that's gonna be a lot, and obviously it's gonna take a while to get there. But for now, I'm just gonna convert these into um, 
these ones, and then we'll call it a day. So what I'm first gonna do is grab my electric wrench, and this allows me to, so one feature of these wrenches is called lossless mode. And basically wrenches let you grab these machines, all right? So lossless mode, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to allow you to grab these machines without losing them. Basically, there's an 80% chance that you get them back. So here I got them. And there's a 20% chance you don't. And if you don't, all you get back is this generator. And you don't want to lose all the stuff that you use to craft it, right? So you want to use this wrench in lossless mode. And I think it's automatically set in regular mode. So you have to change it to lossless. And you do that by pressing O and then right clicking. And I'm not sure why it's not working right now but um that's what you usually do if it fails meaning if it gets the 20 percent lossless mode prevents it from losing uh the um oh shoot that's not what i meant to do oh no 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 all right lossless mode prevents it from um from losing the machine so when you um when you right click on it and it fails meaning it lands in the 20 percent the lossless mode kicks in and it saves the machine and then it in turn uses up the power stored in the um, wrench. So that means that um, it drops down to nearly 0%. So that means that each time you want to get some get a machine using a wrench, you'll have to um, sacrifice some elect like some electricity stored in it. But it's worth it because then you'll you don't lose your machines, so it's fine. So while that's doing that, I'm going to keep grabbing them. And right there, you guys saw it dropped down to almost nothing. So that means that uh, that machine failed at that point and that the lossless mode prevented it from from being destroyed, from the, ma the machine from being destroyed. So basically the lap pack, I don't know if I explained it earlier, but it basically charges um, your tools while you're using them. So you don't have to keep going back and forth between the MFE or whatever storage you have, all right, to uh, charge it. So there we go, we finished that. So I'm just gonna quickly grab these, all right, and grab those, cool, cool, cool. Yes, all right, all those cables are back. Quickly grab that one. All right, so now that I'm gonna let that machine chill for a bit, I'm gonna put these solar, oh, no, no, I'm gonna convert these actually. So I'm gonna put down two actually, Um, uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? I'm going to probably put them like here. So I'll have two normal ones. So I'll do, I'll start them here. Let's start it right there. Oops. All right. And we're going to have cables running through both sides. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm going to have them go like this. And then this one's going to go like that. All right, and they're basically going to connect to those over there. So once they go like that, they're gonna loop around, come over here, and then, and I'm out. Okay, that's great. Once I grab these machines, I'll have enough. So let's see. I'm gonna grab this MFE, right? So double click. The first time you click it, it changes the output um, hole. And then the second time you click it, it once it's on the same side that you're on, it grabs it. So I'm going to put this down like there. All right. So, oh, shoot. The thing is, the MFSUs are going to output high voltage. All right. So we're not going to do this now. We're going to save this for next episode. But um, basically, yeah, that machine outputs high energy. This one outputs or takes in medium energy. So we have to convert the energy from high to medium. So we'll do that next episode. Um but yeah, so that's that's that. And now that I have these extra cables, I'm going to quickly grab them and put them on top where the solar panels are so they can start making energy. All right. So let's plug these in. Boom, just like that. And now they're both charging. Fantastic. All right. And now we have our first array set up. So we're going to have one there and one there. And then we're going to also have I think I might put, remove these and put these cables under them and then put these on top. Yeah, let's do that instead. All right, um, so that's for next episode. But um, for now, that's going to be it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, next episode, we're going to turn these into LV solar panels. And we're going to fix this wiring and 
show you guys how the energy transfer works and start setting up our machines. All right. So this was just a short introduction video. So if you guys are interested, uh, just leave a like, uh, comment anything that you uh, have questions about or want to like see more of in the series or if you even want a series and uh, I'll be sure to look at them and I will see you guys next time.